Hi, welcome to Religion Link TV, where my spiritual here stay. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to make you hope and a future. That's why it's important for us to keep the faith, to fight a good fight, to finish the race, and to keep the faith. I'm going to go ahead and read you a Bible verse out of 2 Timothy 3 chapter 3 it says this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come verse 2 for men shall be lovers of their own selves covetous boasting proud blasphemers disobedient to parents unthankful unholy 3 without natural affection truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, hell, that means kissing on yourself. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I told you, my, the God I serve ain't no joke. You got people out here pissing on their damn self. <laughs> fierce, despises of that that are good. You got a lot of people despising those that are good, y'all. For traitors, heady or heady, it's like reckless high-minded lovers of pleasures more than lovers of god we see that all the time 
5. Having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. From such turn away. We know these false prophets, these wolves in sheep's clothing. You can turn away from them. I mean, I would encourage anybody following 5A, Pastor John, uh, Jay Wilson. If you guys feel uncomfortable comfortable being there, you can always come here. That's not to steal anybody's subs or supporters. But guys, there's people out there God say turn away from. Six, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women. And don't she laugh a lot? I mean, I'm giddy. But don't she just laugh way too much? This Miss Fabe. Right? You know, I, like I said, I laugh, but not at every name I call. Not at every person I'm about to shout out or beef with. She just has that laugh. This silly woman laugh, right? That people have been turning her away. So she feels it's okay to turn you all away. Also. Six. For of this sort are they that creep into houses and lead captive silly women. Laden with sins. Led away with divers lusts. Isn't she very lustful? Seven. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Do you see this in the world? 8. Now as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses, disobedient to Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. Oh, come on somebody. Verse 9 says, but they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs also was. You can only go but so far, fooling the Lord. And look at Jay Wilson sitting on his platform. I can't say the word fool according to Matthew 5 and 22, because I be in judgment of Raka and Hellfire. But there's some people out there that know this man is looking like a tool with the letter F in the front of it. Your reprobate, your reprobate mind is showing. 10. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch and Iconium and at Lystra. What persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, and God shall deliver us from them all. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Are they suffering persecution? It's like the whole world loves Fabi and J. Wilson, right? I know other pastors and prophets on this platform of YouTube and in the world that I can relate this to. But we're on YouTube right now. 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse deceiving and being deceived. Lord have mercy, guys. That's why you have to fight a good fight. Finish your race. And keep the faith according to 2 Timothy 4 and 7. 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. I can only keep encouraging myself with this. And I can only encourage those under the sound of my voice that trust God enough to believe in me and believe in this word. Keep the faith. Keep this word. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. 15. And that from a child that's have known, that's has known the holy scriptures. Told you since eight years old. I went wayward at 13 and came back at 19 and I still got a long way to go. Can somebody say hallelujah? Praise his holy name. 16. Oh, excuse me. Which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Yeshua. 16. 
All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and instruction in righteousness. Even for myself first, I apply this word to me, to purify me, to make sure I'm not of a reprobate mind, loving my own self, covenant, and everything else this first chapter, uh, chapter 3 said, like through verse 1 through 8. And the last verse says, 17, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. That's why it's so important for you all to fight a good fight like I've been doing all my life. To finish your race like I'm trying to finish mine's over here. And to keep the faith. Now I will go to the book of Timothy and the second chapter. And I will read this unto you. And it will begin to make sense to you. I was just in the book of Timothy. Here we go. 2 Timothy. Chapter 4. And 7. I want to say goodbye to YouTube. And I've been asking God. Has my time come? And lo and behold. Right above the verse I'm trying to give you. It says 6. For I am now ready to be offered. And the time of my departure is at hand. Paul is talking about him ready to die. But I'm thinking as if, you know, God only has you places for a season. And maybe my time here on YouTube has come to an end. There's other platforms and other people who can benefit from me in this world. I've fought a good fight. I finished my race and I kept the faith, y'all, no matter where I go or no matter when my time is up there. Seven, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Eight, henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at the day. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. I'm going to go on with it, y'all. Verse 9. Do thy diligent diligence to come shortly unto me. 10. For Demas hath forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departing unto Thessalonica, Crescens, and Galatia, Titus unto Dalmatia. 11. Only Luke is with me. Take Mark and bring him with thee. We can stop there. Y'all get the point. Keep the faith. Keep the faith, y'all. Shalom, y'all. This has been Religion Week TV. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day.